something you'll be interested in. Those performance upgrades we discussed after the last race. They're on the car and the data looks promising. Take a look at the details.
has been. Quick look at the classification at the end of the session then. Here are your top three. Rosberg, Raikkonen and Sebastian Vettel. That's it for practice then. We'll see you again soon. qualifying goals for this weekend. We'd like to welcome you from wherever in the world you join us today for this F1 qualifying session here in Shanghai, China. This is a track that tends to ask quite a lot of the tyres, both front and rear. So is it fair to say a great deal of management will be needed in order to do well here? Tyre wear will probably be the dominating factor around this track. It's so easy to use up the life in your tyres as you seek to find the lap time. If you have a good balance to begin with, like the Mercedes and Red Bull, you'll always stand a better chance. of qualifying, here's a look at your top three. Verstappen, Rosberg and Kimi Raikkonen. The grid is set then, so that just leaves the race itself. 
join us tomorrow, where we'll be live with all the action. And until then, it's goodbye. information on the race goals you should keep in mind. Ever since the salver of Felipe Massa passed Jensen Button into Turn 1 at the very first Chinese Grand Prix in 2004, Shanghai has consistently provided close racing and extraordinary memories. It's where Lewis Hamilton effectively lost the title in his rookie year, and it's where Nico Rosberg claimed Mercedes' first win of the modern era in 2012. Shanghai International Circuit then, a 16-corner high-speed thrill ride. The long and ever-tightening right-hander at turns one and two tests a driver's patience. And the flat, open to the elements location, tests their skill in a crosswind. Two DRS zones will assist passing and overtaking is available into turn one. And of course, down the kilometre-long back straight into the hairpin at turn 14. Joining me once again to take you through this race is the effervescent Anthony Davidson. And I'm very much looking forward to it getting underway. You raced here, of course, didn't you, back in your Super Aguri days in that infamous Chinese Grand Prix of 2007? Yeah, that's right. I didn't last that long, though, unfortunately. Uh, qualifying had gone pretty well, but my brakes failed quite early in the race, around lap 10 or 11, something like that. And, of course, back in 2004, I was the very first Formula 1 driver to complete a lap of this circuit. Just thought I'd mention that for you, Crofty. You like a good stat. Uh, it's a fairly tough circuit on the brakes here, though. You know, there's that long back straight down into turn 14 and then you got turn 6 and 11 they're quite heavy as well on top of that managing your front tire wear is always a challenge around here so there's a lot to keep in mind during the grand prix okay here we go i know what you can do don't let me down with that then let's run through the grid order max verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he starts from pole position. And Nico Rosberg completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Raikkonen, Vettel, Daniel Ricciardo, and Hamilton, Massa, Kvyat, Button, and Sergio Perez. A Haas, Bottas, Nico Hülkenberg, and Magnussen, Alonso, Sainz, Jolien Palmer, and Roman Grosjean, Verlein, and Harry Anto, Felipe Nasser, and Marcus Ericsson rounds off the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track.
Okay, good job, mate. Really well done. That was a fantastic drive. A great win then for the Marinello team today. Tell me, what was the key to this success? Well, I think the track conditions just really suited their car today. Wind, track temperature, you name it. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature. So the more easily you can keep them there, the better your race tends to go. And that's exactly what happened. Their car just looks so comfortable out there. And as we can see, it's time for the podium. And as the drivers make their way out, there's a familiar red suit making its way to the top step. Fantastic win for Ferrari. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. Nico Rosberg takes over the lead of the driver's championship after that excellent result. Now then, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? And here's how things are shaping up in the constructors' championship. The lead at the top comes down after a strong weekend from the challenging pack. There'll be plenty more twists and turns to come this season. I hope you can join us at the next race to see just who will come out on top.